All right, girlies, here are the supplies that we will need for our roller coaster design challenge badge. I've got a little disposable cup of markers. If you oops, knock that over, um, if you would like to decorate your roller coaster, if you have stickers or anything around the house that you might want to decorate um, the uh, paper towel and toilet paper rolls with, feel free. I just put some markers here. We have two different types of paper plates. One, you'll notice that has the little ridges and one that is a little bit on the smoother end. Um, what we'll need to do is take a pair of scissors and cut along this circle here on the one that has the ridges. And then for this one, uh, for the more solid one, you'll need to cut a circle in the center to fit your toilet paper roll. Um, I've also got some popsicle sticks. Those are optional to support your structure and your roller coaster. Um, and then I put a little container with a couple different round items. So I've got a marble in there. I put a cherry, cherry tomato, a grape, and a penny. Glue gun is optional. I, I put on the supplies list tape, but I will say when I started going through this activity, um, I noticed that for me, the durable heavy duty scotch tape uh, just kind of really wasn't cutting it. Um, so you might wanna just experiment with whatever you have around the house um, with your parent and caregiver. You'll need about four to five toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls. And then um, we'll wanna cut a few small pieces here. And that concludes our materials list. Let's get started. Okay, Daisy Girls. Here is my roller coaster that I've worked so hard to build today. And we've got uh, a couple of things that I'm gonna show you. I did take a, a, ca a candle top to use that as a support on uh, one side of my coaster, as well as some mason jars just to give it some additional support. So be thinking about this. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, you're gonna have um, some trial and error runs with this. It's not going to work on the first go around. So just have some fun with it and think about what you can use um, in your home, in your bedrooms, in your kitchens. Just think about things that you already have at home that you can use to make this successful. Um, and so here goes nothing. We're gonna go ahead and try mine. I've got my marble here and we're gonna see if this works. One, two, three. Woo! We were successful. Awesome. All right, ladies, that completes our badge two for Daisy Mechanical Engineering, which is our roller coaster design. Thank you so much for joining me, and please post your videos and creations on our Facebook page. Thank you so much. Stay safe and healthy. Hey, Daisies. Okay, so we are designing our own roller coaster. And what I have here, I've already gotten started a little bit. I have a scrap piece of cardboard and I've taken a paper plate, that smooth paper plate I was telling you about, and I um, took some glue from my glue gun and just put that on as a base. Um, this is optional. You really don't have to use the paper plate. I just thought it might make it easier to demonstrate for you. Um, and then I've already started with the base of my coaster here. Um, and I've glued that one as well. And you can see the hole, which will be um, the bottom where my marble will come out. And we'll just use a little scrap piece of um, my toilet paper roll. I'm going to slide that down in here. Okay. All right. I'm going to make sure I have a nice loop and that it comes all the way to the back of the roll. That way, and it's tilted that way. When my marble falls in, make sure it works. 
that it comes out, which it did. That's good. Now, when you're thinking of your roller coaster, keep in mind what type of theme that you might want. I'm going to just keep mine simple and do it uh, as the Girl Scout way. So, name your roller coaster, have fun with that. And I'm going to go ahead and put my other base on, put some glue. I'm going to tilt, tilt this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Obviously, want to have an adult helping you with this because glue can definitely be painful if you get it on yourself. I did try this with tape, with uh, tape, scotch tape, and it worked. But I will say it was it was a little challenging, and you might get a little frustrated. So um, the hot glue gun worked better for me. Kitty cat Annie, she's coming to visit. Annie, what are you doing? Silly girl. Okay. Other piece, the base, and I've cut a hole here, and you'll see I'll have a connector. What I've taken here is just one more, um, just one more paper towel roll, and I've cut a little slip with my scissors. And this piece will actually just slide right down on my other base piece, so it'll just slide on it just like that. video I had another paper plate and I asked you to cut a hole around that ring this is actually going to make my track my roller coaster track and I've decided to create like a loop so what I'll do very carefully is assemble this into my tunnel. And I'm using mason jars just to give this a little extra support. about what you might want to use. One more piece of scrap toilet paper. This will be kind of like a chute. And 
there you have it. That is the Girl Scout Way roller coaster. Turn you around so you can see. Make sure the tunnel is up. It fell apart. Oops. Track lining up like that. Okay, we're all fixed. There you have it, ladies the Girl Scout Way roller coaster. I am really excited to see what you all come up with and Maybe have your parents help you uh, describe what kinetic energy is. And I can just briefly tell you that here. That's uh, the energy that's required to move your uh, car or marble. Um, and then gravity. So when, and you'll notice when you go through this with um, assembling your coaster that you'll, you'll definitely have some accidents and it might not work and that's okay. Just understand that that's what a lot of our mechanical engineers are doing. They're testing and um, it's really just practice and just don't give up on creating your design and have a lot of fun with it. Thank you for visiting.